It is literally just the two of us currently on Whitehaven Beach. I could not be happier. This morning we are in Early Beach. Yesterday we made the drive down from Townsville. It was about three and a half hours. And today we are going camping in the Whit Sunday Islands. We are all packed up and headed to our pickup spot now. We just got to Shoot Harbor where we're gonna be ferried over to Whitehaven Beach. We got here early, so we're gonna go ahead and have breakfast. I'm going out for the one night? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you said you can't Okay. our campsites now it's time to get set up and we're done so we rented all the camping gear through the same company that taxied us out to the island and that included the tent two sleeping bags these sleeping mats we brought our own chairs. It included 15 liters of water. They supplied the cooler, but we brought all of our own food. A portable stove thing, a pot and a pan, big flashlight, extra battery, whatever these are. Fuel for the stove. <laughs> extra ones. This kit here, bowls, plates, Utensils, cups. So we also rented these Stinger suits. They were $5 a piece. I've heard mixed reviews whether Stinger season starts in October or November. It's October 15th, so I figured we just better be safe and sorry. So we will be wearing these later when we go for a swim. Off to explore the island. There's several walks in the area, so for now we're gonna do some exploring and take the Solway circuit and then also the Whitehaven Beach lookout track. Whitehaven lookout and it is absolutely beautiful. It is 180 degrees of breathtaking views. One of the biggest reasons why we wanted to camp here on Whitehaven Beach was so we could see the hill inlet lookout at low tide. What we didn't realize is that it's an eight kilometer walk one way, but I gotta see those swirly sands, so here goes nothing. So we're right here outside of our campsite and we've gotta walk all the way down there. We're thinking we're about halfway. We made it. This is seriously the whitest sand and the bluest water I have ever seen. It is so amazing.
ever since we first started looking into places in Australia we wanted to see. Whitehaven Beach and this inlet has been on my list and it did not disappoint. It was absolutely beautiful. We're gonna head back the eight kilometers now. on Whitehaven Beach. I could not be happier. Made it back. We just made it back to camp. It was a long walk, but it was totally worth it. And now we're gonna get some dinner going. Making dinner by headlamp. It's about 5.30 in the morning and we're taking our coffee to the sunrise. What a beautiful sunrise. Outside of a couple of other campers, we had the entire beach to ourselves. Now it's time to make some breakfast. We had dinner tacos. Now we're gonna have breakfast tacos. And we're done. We have a couple hours before pickup, so we're gonna go for a swim. Let's do this. <laughs> so we saw plenty of people yesterday swimming without these things on, so we probably look pretty silly, but we also saw three jellyfish along our walk. I'm not sure if they're the deadly ones, but either way, not something I'm gonna mess with. Here we go. Time to load up. Off we go. We're back in Shoot Harbor and oh my gosh, that was such an incredible experience. There's so many different ways to see the Whitsunday Islands and most of them stop at Whitehaven Beach for an hour or so. And we wanted to camp in hopes that we could spend more time on the beach and see it with a lot less people and it did not disappoint. After the last boats left and the helicopters took off, we had the whole beach to ourselves. It was incredible. Australia has been on our short list for a good three to four years now. And ever since then, I've wanted to see the swirly sands at Whitehaven Beach, and it truly exceeded all of my expectations. It was such an incredible experience.